In this video, we're going to prove the trigonometric identity sine squared of x over 2 is equal to tangent x minus sine x over 2 tangent of x. Well, how are we going to prove this? Well, I usually like to pick the more complicated side. It's very tempting to think that the right-hand side is more complicated. You have some fractions and differences going on. But I'm actually going to start with the left-hand side because of the difference of the angles, right? What I mean by that is the left-hand side has an x over 2. The right-hand side, all of the angles are x. So the only way we could prove this identity here is we have to convert from x to x over 2 or the other way around. And so that's where the half-angle identity comes into play here. So remember, when it comes to sine, sine of x over 2, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of x all over 2. But this is the half angle identity for sine, but if you square things, things get a lot easier. You get sine squared of x over 2 um, is equal to just 1 half, 1 minus cosine of x. And so that's the version that we actually want to use right here. So let's prove our identity now. Uh, let's start with the left-hand side. Like I said, the left-hand side is going to be sine squared of x over 2. And then by the half-angle identity, this is the same thing as 1 half times 1 minus cosine of x like so. And so we can start with that, all right, um, which we can, again, we can write that as a fraction. Because, again, we're trying to write this as a fraction right here. So let's rewrite this as a fraction. You get 1 minus cosine of x over 2 right let's compare to where we're at we want a two tangent on the bottom so it seems very tempting just to times the bottom by tangent of x if we do that we have to do that to the numerator as well what happens if we distribute the tangent here well you get one times tangent which is a tangent and then you're going to get tangent times cosine so let's investigate this this seems to be a fruitful direction to go you're going to get tangent of x minus cosine of x times tangent of x like so over 2 tangent of x. Well, we want this product cosine times tangent to be a sine, otherwise we'd be done, right? So if we think of tangent in terms of sines and cosines, uh, that would look like tangent, of course, we know is sine over cosine. And so Bob's your uncle right there. Uh, we see that there's a tangent. Uh, when we got when we did the tangent, you got sine over cosine. There's a cosine down on a denominator, which cancels with this cosine. And so this would simplify to give us tangent of x minus sine of x over 2 times tangent of x. So we were able to prove this trigonometric identity here, because this is the right-hand side. We were able to prove this trigonometric identity using the half-angle identity. And in particular, when you're using the half-angle identity, uh, the, the original version we have here with the plus or minus the square root is not always the easiest one to use. Oftentimes, we prefer the square right here. So you get sine squared of x over 2 is equal to 1 half 1 minus cosine of x. Or an alternative version here is you get sine squared of x is equal to uh, 1 half 1 minus cosine of 2x. This is a very useful version. Uh, likewise, cosine squared of x is equal to 1 half. 1 plus cosine of 2x. These versions of the half angle identities are going to be probably much more useful for you when you're proving other identities themselves and other calculations as well. So be aware there are multiple versions of the half angle identity. And that brings us to the end of lecture 19 about the half angle identity. Thanks for watching everyone. If you learned anything in these videos, feel free to give us a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Bye everyone.